What's up, Mushroom Fam? It's Gary with Fresh from the Farm Fungi. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Shroomatic HEPA filter. So this is one of the coolest hobbyist HEPA filters that I found on the market. And this company was kind enough to send me one to do a review video. So I'm gonna do the unboxing, my initial impressions, and then I wanna do a test comparison to test the sterility of this in action. And essentially, I'm gonna leave a Petri dish open for about a minute and close it and then let it um, incubate for a few days. And if ideally there will be no growth on that Petri dish, if there's a, you know one to 10 colony forming units or CFUs, then there's probably a little uh, cleaning that has to be done. And then if there's anything over 30 CFUs, which I'm gonna do a plate at ambient, just collecting um, the dust from the room, then we know that it's kind of a dirty environment and we shouldn't be using this in the first place. But once again, this is a really cool hobbyist grow. My vision is, you know, someone who does one or two grows a year could pull this out, do their Petri dish cultures. They could do all their grain spawn inoculations in front of this flow hood and then um, box it up or cover it up put it in the closet for next uh, for the next year or the next grow session. And it's really convenient. It fits on this four foot table. It's super lightweight, um, but let's, let's check it out. Okay, so when I'm unboxing it, um, it came really, really nicely packaged. It's got these foam inserts and you can see these two dials and a power button like right away. So I'll go ahead and pull this out to give us an idea of what we're looking at here. So this is the uh, Shroom Magic Flow Hood. Came with some promo stuff there. We've got um, these foam pads to protect it during shipping. So it's constructed out of a powder coated metal, which is really good compared to like wood or a more porous material is not ideal. So this is really nice um, powder coated steel. You can see that it sits on this four foot bench really nicely. And then this is, uh, I guess, the main area that you want to protect, which is the HEPA filter. So it has a flow directional flow arrow on it. Um, and then it came with these stands right here for your workspace. And this looks like the uh, power, cord, power cord here. So looking on the inside, um, it looks really clean. I'm going to go ahead and spray it out with isopropyl because it just came from shipping. So I'll clean this inside out really well. My first impression is that it has two different um, intake fans with a mesh filter, so that's good. The directions say to put it on medium, not uh, low or high, to help calibrate the speed. And uh, once this dries out, I'll go ahead and set this up. But yeah, so it looks like it came with these grates here, which you can use as a working space. Um, it's elevated off the table, so you're getting the full full flow here, hopefully. And then it did come with this instruction booklet too. So for the setup, um, I'll go ahead and open this filter. And I can see one of the main reasons why it's so affordable is because of the uh, thinness of the HEPA filter. So like. The flow hood here behind me has about a six inch HEPA filter where this has about a one inch HEPA filter. So um, that could be one of the reasons why it's cheaper. It's not gonna last as long, but if you're just a hobbyist grower, this is more than enough um, than what you need to have a successful grow. So I'm gonna save this bag so that I could put the filter back in the bag and that way it would preserve the integrity um, but other than that, I mean, I'm very impressed with the quality so far. So it looks like it just has these 
uh, foam layers on either end here, which I'm gonna push it in to give it a nice snug fit. Tells me about the uh, precision of this being made is that this filter is just gonna use the compression from the foam to form an airtight seal. <laughs> Has these two little prongs here to pull that filter out. And once again, I'm gonna save this to protect the filter after we're done. Here's the power switch. We got the, the speed that I'm gonna set to 50%. It's got these intake filters with the mesh so not, no big particles will get in there. And next, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. So I'm gonna make sure that it's really nice and snug before I hit that power button. All right, so it looks like it even has some nice LEDs. And so yeah, first sign is I can smell that fresh HEPA filter working its way through. And the directions say to let it run a little bit to work out the initial chemicals in that HEPA filter. Okay, so yeah, they give you this extra grate to span the uh, whole length of this here. And so far, so good. The fans are really quiet. I'm gonna put it on full max just to see how this filter stays in place. And it feels really secure. Um, I'm gonna grab a lighter and then I'll do do the old lighter test here. And it looks like the, the lighting shifts with the uh, speed, the fan speed too, to give you a visual. All right, yeah, so I'll do the uh, proverbial lighter test here. And you want it to be flickering, but you don't want it to blow out. So it's about at a 30 to 45 degree angle. Really good fan speed, I would say. So right there, it's on full max and you can see it's blowing, which indicates that there's no dead spots in the flow. So I'll go up to the top, maybe up here, it blew it out. So that's really good for the workspace. You can see that. Okay, so now the next step, like I said, is I'm going to open up some Petri dishes for about a minute, let those collect any air that's in the area. I'll close those up, put them in the incubator, and we'll see how it does. All right, guys, so it's been 72 hours since the experiment. Let's check our plates real quick. All right, so everything looks super clean right now. I'm gonna go ahead and leave these in for a few more days to see if we get any kind of growth. Usually yeast or bacteria will show up within the first three days and then sometimes spores could take a couple weeks to germinate. So, you know, my lab is very clean here. I didn't really expect any growth, which is really good. And um, I'll see if anything comes up on this ambient over the next few days. All right, so final update. I let these plates go for a little over two weeks and the true magic one and the air science are both blank. So these ones did not grow anything. And the ambient one ended up growing one colony, if you can see it right there. So there's one single, it looks like a yeast colony or something. Basically right there, that 
that validates that this true magic is pumping out clean air. If you wanted to try this experiment yourself, you can, you know, leave it open for six minutes and then multiply that by 10, or you can leave it open for 20 minutes and multiply that number by three or leave it open for a full hour. And anything under 10 CFUs is ideal. Zero is ideal actually. And anything under 10 is good. 10 to 30 is like, you know, maybe you have to change a filter and anything above 30, you have to address uh, whatever problems are going on in your room or with your flow hood. But um, I definitely am impressed with this little uh, flow hood here, the Shrew Magic. Go get yourself one if you're looking for, you know, a starter or you just don't have enough space for a larger flow hood. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video on the Shrewmatic Laminar Flow Hood. Um, if you'd like to purchase this, I'll put the link in the description below. I'm super impressed with the quality of this build for the price. It's definitely a great for a hobbyist budget. If you wanna take your grow to the next level and start doing culture work or open air inoculations, this is a really good product. I especially like these lights um, up here and the dual fan speeds. Seems that it'll be great to stick in your closet if you're only growing once in a while. And I like these racks that it came with to uh, lift your the work surface off the ground right into the sweet spot. All right, guys, until next time, much love.